Well, today, Americans across the country are marking 155 years since slavery came to an end in the U.S. But Juneteenth celebrations are likely to look very different this year due to both the COVID-19 pandemic and the rise of the Black Lives Matter movement. So what exactly is Juneteenth? Let's take a look. January 1st, 1863, President Abraham Lincoln issues the Emancipation Proclamation abolishing slavery. This was the glorious day that people had been hoping for, they had been praying for, they had been crying for. But it would take another two years for the news to reach slaves in Texas, the last to learn the Civil War had ended and they were now free. That day, June 19, 1865, commemorates Juneteenth, a time when newly freed slaves could come together with family to celebrate their independence. Early Juneteenth celebrations often centered around the church and eventually spread through the South, getting a renewed surge in the 1960s during the Civil Rights Movement. In 1980, it was officially declared a state holiday in Texas, and other states followed suit. While Juneteenth celebrations have been a staple in the Valley since the 1950s, it wasn't until March 17, 2016, Governor Doug Ducey signed a bill which made Arizona the 45th state to officially recognize Juneteenth as a state holiday. Now there's a growing push to make it a federal holiday. I think it will unite us, create more harmony, and uh, you know, just a greater sense of, of us being as one nation, just like the 4th of July does. Gershom Williams has long been a spokesperson for the Juneteenth Valley of the Sun celebration. The event is canceled this year due to the coronavirus pandemic, but nationwide virtual observances are gaining strength. This is another way of mobilizing and galvanizing people, and people have the enthusiasm and they're eager because they want to find a creative way to still do it. And this year, 2020, as we know, uh, we, we just seem like it's needed now more than ever before. If you're interested in celebrating Juneteenth, we have a list of events on our website, 12news.com.